Enterprises today face huge challenges trying to stay ahead of attacks and stopping threats before they cause damage. Before launching a campaign, attackers need to identify their target, buy blocks of IP addresses, and register domains to host their malware. All of these activities leave fingerprints that provide vital context when you're hunting or responding to an incident. At Cisco, we use these fingerprints to help map out the good and bad across the internet. This threat intelligence feeds into the two powerful security products, Investigate and AMP ThreatGrid. Investigate provides threat intelligence about domains, IPs, ASNs, and file hashes across the internet. We draw our conclusions from our diverse data set of 80 billion daily DNS requests and live views of network connections. We then use a combination of human intelligence and statistical models to automatically pinpoint attackers' infrastructure across the internet and to predict future threats. AMP ThreatGrid is a malware analysis platform that powers your existing security infrastructure. It combines static and dynamic analysis with threat intelligence into a single solution so that you can quickly understand what malware is doing or attempting to do, how large a threat it poses, and how to defend against it. The intelligence about an attacker's internet infrastructure from Investigate, combined with ThreatGrid's malware file intelligence, truly provides the most complete view of the infrastructure used in an attack enabling your security team to better defend, detect, and remediate threats. Let's take a look into these two powerful tools working together during an incident response scenario. In a single correlated source, Investigate provides the most complete view of the relationships and evolution of domains, IPs, and ASNs. You can access the intelligence via an API and a web-based console as you see here. Let's say you find a number of endpoints beaconing out to this domain. First, you query the domain and investigate to find if it's malicious, and immediately you find that this domain is on the OpenDNS Security Labs block list, since our researchers have determined it is malicious. Next, you see the global request patterns for this domain. The traffic to this domain is pretty irregular. Sometimes you can even see a small spike a couple days before a big one, which could indicate when the attackers tested their infrastructure. Another key piece of information is the who is record data, which shows the email address and contact information used to register the domain. Investigate correlates that info to show other domains also registered using the same email address. This can also uncover other domains connected to the same attacker. You see this email address was used to register more than 500 domains with at least 499 malicious ones. And looking at this email address, it's a clear sign that they use a privacy protection service in order to hide their identity. To see when the domain was associated with malware, there's the domain tagging section. This domain has been hosting malware since May 2016. Now, let's broaden our view of the attack and find other associated domains. Co-occurrences identify other domains that were visited within seconds of the original domain and are likely related. Here, you see that there's a 100% chance that this domain here will be queried right before or after the original domain. And even despite being on separate networks, Investigate is able to correlate request patterns from our global users and show how the domains are connected. You can even uncover other malicious domains hosted on this network by pivoting off the IP address or ASN. Let's explore the IP address this domain is hosted on. There are three domains hosted by this IP, all of which are malicious. It's safe to assume that any new domains from this IP will also be highly suspicious. So you can see how with Investigate, you can build out a view of the internet infrastructure an attacker is using and proactively block access to these malicious domains or IPs. In addition to building out a view of the attacker's internet infrastructure, you can uncover the malware files used in attacks by looking at associated samples. This list shows file hashes found to be making command and control callbacks 
to the same domain and related artifacts known to be malicious by ThreatGrid. If you have a ThreatGrid license, you can dig even deeper into the file analysis data by clicking on a specific file hash and then pivoting directly into the ThreatGrid console. ThreatGrid analyzes the most common data medium, files. It detonates files inside a safe environment, allowing malware to freely execute, all while taking an outside looking in approach to analysis. The result, the best possible threat intelligence since we allow the malware to execute as intended while remaining undetected. The captured data is analyzed and a report is available through the cloud or as an on-premises solution as you see here. When you pivot into the ThreatGrid console, the file hash will already be populated along with any additional samples. You can also manually submit files for samples as well. Click on the particular sample or artifact you want a file analysis report on. You immediately get the file metadata along with the behavioral indicators. Behavioral indicators are the first step in applying context to the analysis. We support over 700 behavioral indicators covering malware files and malicious behaviors to explain what the malware is doing. By providing detailed descriptions and actionable content, we ensure that analysis have the data to quickly respond while gaining knowledge into the malware and its techniques. This extends the knowledge of security analysts to respond to more incidents instead of escalating to senior reverse engineers. ThreatGrid also provides a threat score, which considers the confidence and severity of the behavioral indicators, so even junior analysts have an easy way to prioritize and respond to threats. In addition to behavioral indicators and a threat score, ThreatGrid highlights the full context around the sample that's being analyzed in relation to the universe of malware content out there. This content is critical for analysts to fully understand the scope of the threat and quickly respond to an incident in a prioritized manner. You can even search our data store for matching artifacts using a multitude of search criteria, including hashes, IP addresses, host names, URLs, mutexes, and registry keys. All of this information is pivotal and searchable to provide global and historical context around attacks. Don't forget, you can even enrich your existing security data by integrating with your existing infrastructure, including SIMS, firewall, IDS, web proxies, and email gateways. So to recap, by using both Investigate and ThreatGrid together, you'll be able to Gain the most complete view of the infrastructure used in an attack from Investigate's Internet Infrastructure Intelligence combined with ThreatGrid's Malware File Intelligence. With this full visibility, you can quickly determine if a domain or file is malicious and interactively pivot on data points to uncover additional IOCs. Speed up incident response and hunt emergent threats. You can also pivot between data points in both consoles to see the relationships between domains, IPs, networks, and malware samples. This will help reduce time to investigate incidents and even predict unknown threats. And enrich existing security data. With the API capability of both products, seamlessly integrate them into your security portfolio and automate the tedious investigation process. Together, ThreatGrid and Investigate give your security teams the real-time threat intelligence they need to fully understand the internet infrastructure and malware used in an attack. So, if you want to learn more about these powerful products, visit opendns.com investigate or cisco.com go amp.